Hello my friends, especially my ICSC students. In this video, we are going to look at the poem The Heart of the Tree by Henry Berner. Henry Berner was an American writer, journalist and poet. He lived in the 1800s and wrote many novels. But he is better known for his short stories. Now let's read his poem the heart of the tree subscribe karo aur bell icon dabao taki aage ke videos bhi aapko mile what does he plant who plants a tree he plants a friend of sun and sky he plants the flag of breezes free the shaft of beauty towering high he plants a home to heaven and i for song and mother croon of bird in hushed and happy twilight heard the treble of heaven's harmony these things he plants who plants a tree what does he plant who plants a tree he plants cool shade and tender rain and seed and bud of days to be and years that fade and flush again he plants the glory of the plain he plants the forest heritage the harvest of a coming age the joy that unborn eyes shall see these things he plants who plants a tree what does he plant who plants a tree he plants a sap and leaf and wood in love of home and loyalty a far cast thought of civic good his blessings on the neighborhood who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of all our land a nation's growth from sea to sea stirs in his heart who plants a tree to summarize the poem it is obvious the poet appreciates a person who plants a tree and through this appreciation he enumerates the benefits of planting a tree some of the benefits he lists are that trees give shade from the sun their home to birds trees give oxygen trees have potential to turn into green forests that will be a joy for coming generations the poem is very appropriate to our times when we are expanding our cities cutting down trees and encroaching into forests for the lust of urbanization let's read and understand the poem stanza by stanza what does he plant who plants a tree he plants a friend of sun and sky he plants the flag of breezes free the shaft of beauty towering high he plants a home to heaven and i a song and mother croon of bird in hushed and happy twilight heard the treble of heaven's harmony these things he plants who plants a tree poet starts the poem by asking the question what does he plant who plants a tree this is a rhetorical question since the poet himself answers his own question he says he plants a friend of sun and sky the trees usually grow upwards towards the sun and sun is such an important part of the tree's life also probably talking about photosynthesis and making oxygen in the process he may also imply that the hot and scorching sun and the wind that can harm animals and humans become more friendly because of the trees the trees give shade and hold the soil together he plants the flag of breezes free the poet describes the tree as a flag that flutters in the breeze he is probably talking about trees swaying in the breeze or the leaves of the tree trembling in the wind the leaves are like the flag and the trunk is the pole of the flag the shaft of beauty towering high here the poet mentions the trunk by name the shaft is equal to the trunk towering high means tall and majestic he plants a home to heaven and i anai means near the poet further describes the tree as a home near the heaven heaven is often used as another word for sky a song and mother croon of bird croon means singing softly the person who is planting the tree builds a home for the mother bird that sings for everybody especially its children in hushed and happy twilight heard hushed means softly and twilight means the light during sunset or the evening time this means that during evening time 
when most sounds fade and you hear the happy sounds of animals and birds and insects returning home. The treble of heaven's harmony. Treble means a high-pitched sound. Harmony usually means everyone living together without fear. It also means a combination of sounds to make one composition of music. These things he plants who plants a tree. This way the poet answers his own questions as he has given a list of what planting a tree means. If we look at the stanza as a whole, then we realize that the poet is enumerating the qualities of a tree. He says the tree is a friend of the sun and sky. It's like a flag fluttering in the breeze, a flag that almost touches the sky, a towering beauty that is like a home near heaven. Because like heaven, it has music in it. The music is of birds who make their nest in the tree and sing during the evening time when all creatures are returning to their homes. Let's go to the next stanza. What does he plant who plants a tree? He plants a cool shade and tender rain and seed and bud of days to be and years that fade and flush again. He plants the glory of the plain. He plants the forest heritage, the harvest of coming age. The joy that unborn eyes shall see, these things he plants, who plants a tree. What does he plant who plants a tree? So the poet starts with the question again. Maybe he wants to enumerate more qualities of the tree and list the benefits of planting the tree. He plants cool shade and tender rain. The tree provides shade from the sun and rain. It is interesting to note that in the second line of the first stanza, the poet talks about sun and sky. And here he talks about shade and rain. Shade has to be provided from the sun and the rain is usually in the poetic language set to fall from the skies. And seed and bud of days to be. As the tree will grow older, it will bear fruit that will provide seeds for more trees. And bud means new and small flowers that will help grow more fruit through pollination. And years that fade and flush again, the tree will stand the test of time and witness years that have changing seasons that will have times of rain and spring when the gardens and forests are flush with greenery and plants and summer and autumn when the plants will have little or no leaves and the fields will turn brown. He plants the glory of the plain. The tree is the glory of any field or plain. It has many uses in a plain, one of them being holding the soil together to avoid soil erosion. He plants the forest heritage. The tree has the potential to turn the area into a forest. Heritage means something that is handed down generation to generation or that belongs to someone particular. Here the tree is owned by the forest and it belongs in the forest. The harvest of a coming age. As the tree will grow older and stronger, it will bear fruit that future generations will be able to enjoy. The joy that unborn eyes shall see. There are many yet to be born and they shall be overjoyed to find a tree that is an important part of the ecosystem that thrives to keep nature alive. This line also means the future generations will enjoy the fruits of the tree. These things he plants who plants a tree. If you look upon the stanza, it suggests that the tree will stand the test of time. It will become a forest in the years to come. It will bear many fruits in the coming and going of the seasons every year. In the process, it will also witness many generations of other creatures including humans, birds and animals and other plants. These creatures will be born and they will grow and they will die and for them the tree will be a thing of beauty and benefit. Let's go to the next stanza. What does he plant who plants a tree? He plants in sap and leaf and wood, in love of home and loyalty and far cast thought of civic good. His blessings are on the neighborhood. Who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of all our land? A nation's growth from sea to sea stirs in his heart. Who plants a tree? What does he plant who plants a tree? The poet once again asks the question so that he can further elaborate the benefits of planting a tree. 
He plants in sap and leaf and wood. Sap, leaf and wood are all parts of the tree. So in a way, the person who plants a tree is planting all of these, each of which is useful to man. In love of home and loyalty, home here could mean the Mother Earth that is home to all living creatures. It could also mean the home that we live in, our locality or area or country where we reside. And planting a tree is definitely going to help all the mentioned places showing the loyalty of a person. A far cast thought of civic good. Far cast should mean envisioning or thinking about the future generations and the good it will do to them. His blessings on the neighborhood. His blessings mean the benefits of planting a tree such as clean air and beauty in the vicinity wherever the tree is planted. Who in the hollow of his hand, holding something in the palm of our hand, holds all the growth of all our land. In the palm of his hand he holds one seed, but it is something that can grow and benefit all of the land. A nation's growth from sea to sea. A country can benefit from planting trees. Sea to sea may mean border to border. In other words, the whole nation. In a larger perspective, sea to sea can also mean coast to coast or all of the land regardless of political boundaries. Stirs in the heart who plants a tree. This means that any person who wants to plant a tree has a kind heart that thinks of well-being of all creatures. The whole stanza can be seen as a vision of the man who plants the tree. He is planting something that will give products such as sap, wood and leaf which have different uses. The tree will give oxygen to the local population and when it multiplies into a forest, it will give fruits and oxygen and other benefits to the whole nation and the earth. Hope you have understood the meaning of the poem, The Heart of the Tree. If you have any question, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Thank you so much for being with me. Look forward to more such lessons on this channel. Please go ahead and share this lesson to other friends who need it. Have a good day and God bless.